Hi guys, this is a box review of uh, our Sima BMAX Toyota Celica GT4 ST165. So this is the 1990 Safari Rally version. You can see nice box art. This one. Uh, the number is uh, B2406. This is number 8. So this is a collaboration between our SIM and BMAX. I think by now they have split up. Um, there's some also nice pictures of the car. Now this is some uh, uh, extra uh, separately um, selling uh, photo each part. And uh, we'll go through this later. So let me open the box. Okay, um, so these are the instructions, and here you have uh, this really nice uh, photo, and actually, it's very helpful for all the decals that you can apply. Now, you will notice that there are no the tobacco livery for the car and uh, you have to buy this separately um, so these are the instructions um, so these are the colors they have it for, for the car um, so this is this uh, in Japanese, English, German, French and Chinese version and so this is the Mr. Color and Mr. Hobby, and this is the Tamiya uh, colors. But uh, I would probably apply some uh, zero paint uh, for this car. So, here. so you see this in the instructions, you have the paint the main body and you can see here this is the regions you have to apply uh, the black paint I guess this can be something like uh, semi-gloss black like uh, uh, X16 or X18 sorry for the media and this is uh, uh, the low the sassy and also you have the springs um, that is how to so there's the tires and the wheels and you will notice there are these um, shaded parts in the instructions and this refers to using the aftermarket so you can replace some of the plastic parts or the kit with the photo edge parts so the steering wheel, the dash uh, this is the, the top and the seat now you can see here actually there is the aftermarket version for the harnesses and it seems a bit complicated but actually it is not and provides a very realistic uh, look for the car and this is the roll cage um, again this is the glass so you can have uh, paint the black area actually the kit provides uh, masks that can make our life easier and also they have uh, uh, photo it's part for the windshield and the uh, rear uh, wipers so the lights there's also a lot of glass parts uh, for this car Yeah, it seems a really nice car. 
It's about uh, 15 parts altogether. And this is the uh, the list of the of the sprue. Um, so let let's look at the sprue. Number one. So this is the clear part. Um, I think they are very nice. So this is the for the light. They are nice. Let me take this. Now this is uh, broken for the mounting point here, but it's okay. They're very clean. So you have the masks. And I think the masks are. Yeah, at the beginning I didn't see them, but they are here. So you can see there are masks that you can use them to mask uh, this glass, and you can paint it easily. Okay, so we put this on here. Okay. These are chrome parts. And actually, this is for the lights mostly. And um, this self adhesive this one, so you can. Not bad, it's a bit shiny. Because they are, you cannot see a lot of them, so I guess you don't have to dechrome this one, you can use them as they are. Okay, um, okay this is uh, the tires, there are five of them, so there's one spare for the car. There's a small seam. I don't know if you can see there's a small seam. I think it's easily you can clean this. Um, they are nice. So these are the polycaps. The polycaps for this one. And this is the mess. But uh, in the aftermarket set there is a photo edge part that you can use for this one. Okay, so <clears throat> take this up from here. Now uh, this is a big part of all the screws, so this reminds me mini art packets. You put all the screws in one bag, which is really not, it's not very nice, but anyway, this, it is what it is. Okay, so. So this one, the, the sassy, and some parts of the sassy, the wipers, the discs. So there's no engine for this car, so it's a curbside model. There's some lower part of the engine. Yeah, but actually nothing important. So this is uh, the roll cage. They are well molded actually. They are not a lot of flash. So there is a couple of seam lines usually in the roll cage, but you can easily send them clean. Um, This one, we'll find out later. So, this is the spring soak absorbers, part of the
They're nice. They're clean enough. So these are the wheels. As I say, there are five of them. They're really, really very nice. Very clean. I like them. Okay, this is the the top. Now you notice that the top is one part, so the doors are here. molding in the top, which I uh, don't like very much because you have to mask, spend a lot of time masking in order to paint this one. Okay, this is the steering wheel, part of the the wheel. This is dust. You have the bumpers, the seat, which is really very nice. Actually, there is the you can see there's the holes that you can use them for for the seat belts. And the dust is quite simple because that, that area does not have very complicated dust. Okay. And this is um, another part of the car. Yeah. I think this is the last part of the sprue. And uh, this is the main body, so let me open it. Very clean. Don't see any seam lines? At least it will be very it's very nice molded this one. So there are some parts that you can remove inside here, the hood pins, because you can use the aftermarket part and it's really nice. Okay, um, so let me see the decals and the other parts. So these are the decals. Very much afraid. See. Oh, this is a self adhesive stickers for for the glasses. This is um, so the decals are really really nice. 
good registry not too much film very crisp well well printed so this is the Pirelli logos select and everything This is the delivery. As you can see the Repsol, um, Toyota. There is a, for the seat belts. If you don't want to use the aftermarket set, you have some uh, decals. They're not really very nice. I, I never use them. I always replace them the aftermarket because they look very realistic um, the only thing you can see is that um, the tobacco lever is missing from some parts of the decals and this is actually if you want to reproduce the exact car this is what you need to change and actually because this is supposed to be one of my next builds hopefully uh, in the fall I bought um, this one, so this is the set from Autocolor AC24043 for this particular card and you can see here is that uh, you can see the Marlboro inside so you can replace some of the parts with this one it was not very cheap because when it was 11 euros plus 2-3 pounds for the shipping I got this from the Domino models in Belgium and the last one it is um, the extra set, the photo edge set from uh, from Osima Bimax and it's really nice because you can see there is a ribbon for the for the seat belt there is a lot of photo edge parts um, for the car you can replace many of these plastic parts you have more realistic version of the car one thing to notice this photo edge part they don't have mounting points they are just uh, self adhesive so you peel one of these uh, uh, membranes and then you just lift uh, the photo edge parts are uh, really very handy. Um, I think I bought this one. Yeah, they say 20 pounds here, sorry, 20 euros. Um, but I think this is including the shipping. And both this one and the kit, I think I bought it from uh, Hero Boy in the United Kingdom. So that's all guys, uh, I hope it was useful uh, to you, um, hope to see you soon, have a good one.